Did you know that skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States? But in many cases, it's preventable. And if you detect it early, you can treat it depending on the kind of skin cancer. So we're getting into that. What do you need to do to protect yourself? Is this the time of year to be worried about this? This morning, Beaumont dermatologist Dr. Ann Hearn joining us live on the web set along with director of Beaumont's multidisciplinary melanoma clinic, Dr. Richard Kaiden. Thanks, doctors, for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Let's talk about skin cancer because I feel like we keep talking about you have to wear your sunscreen, you have to wear a hat, and now we have, you know, back when I was a kid and when you were kids, there wasn't shelves full of sunscreen, right? And so we have all this knowledge and all this, all these ointments and, and tricks, and yet it, the rate is going up. What are we doing wrong? Well, I think part of the problem is that um, there's still a perception that a tan means you're healthy and we need to go back to the perception that a tan means you've damaged your skin so we need to not focus on getting a tan but protecting your skin from the sun but people have been out in the sun for forever right I mean what's changed well our, our knowledge has changed and certainly when we were children as you mentioned we didn't have the knowledge yeah and a lot of the skin cancers we're seeing are because we weren't protected decades ago okay. so it means we have to protect ourselves now but we can't go back and we have had damage that's occurred you know decades before is this a good time of year in the summertime is this when we should be doing a look, taking a close look or I guess is there is there any particular better time than others it, any time is a good time yeah <laughs> this is when people become more aware of their skin because it's showing so yes. then you are more aware that you need to have your skin checked this is when you really need to start protecting your skin so well, let's go ahead and show some pictures um, we have the a b c d and e when it comes to moles and what they look like and then i also want to ask you guys because we love to go to the beach i mean in michigan we love to get on the boat uh go to the pool go to the beach get to the water um, it, you can still do that, you just have to be diligent, right? Absolutely, All absolutely. Right. So and I have to put a plug in for SPF clothing. There's no such, there's no sunscreen that's better than clothing. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, Doc. Um, okay, take a look here. Um, we have uh, asymmetry, which means it's One just, is. yeah, it doesn't match, right? Oh, man. <laughs> All right. And then you have the diameter. What does that mean, Dr. When looking at that? The diameter, any mole that's larger than six millimeters or about the diameter of a pencil eraser should be suspect. Really? That's correct. Okay. Now, are we looking at, because there's such a huge difference between basal cell and a melanoma, right? Right. Uh, can your naked eye, now see, here we, we see a, a growth changing there which is a really good illustration, um, that change indicates a problem, right? That would be evolution. So the A, B, C, D, E's, the E is evolution. Anyone that's got a mole that's changing, whether it's the shape, being raised, getting more color, lack of color, the borders changing, any change whatsoever, you should go to a dermatologist like Dr. Hearn and have it looked at and probably biopsy. All right. Um, we're getting into the chat room right now. So any questions you have about what's going on with your skin, uh, anything that's going on with your skin, we have two Beaumont experts here to answer your questions into the chat room and then later on um, I want to talk about the difference between how, how, does melanoma look the, the deadly skin cancer look any different than the not so deadly skin cancer so we got a lot to talk about this morning guys and I'm gonna get a little um, exam myself so that's coming up later in the nine Jason